What's up guys, Adam here again, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change out the blade on this DeWalt miter saw. Now, the instructions on how to do this are gonna be pretty much the same, if not exactly the same, for the majority of the miter saws that are out there. But in this case, this is a DeWalt miter saw. I'm gonna be upgrading to a saw blade that I know is a very good saw blade because I've used them before and they work very well, and it's Diablo Blades. And this particular blade is going to be a 60 tooth blade. It's important to point out that when you are selecting a blade, select the right blade for the job. And so if you're doing a lot of rip cuts, then you would want to use a lower tooth count blade. Whereas if you're doing a lot of cross cuts, you're going to want that higher tooth count. This is why I'm going to show you how to do this. It's going to be able to allow you to quickly change out your blade depending on what job you are doing. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. So before we begin doing anything with this, we need to make sure there's no power going to the saw. All right, so I'm going to bring you up nice and close so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now with the DeWalt's, typically they'll give you this tool that has the two Torx bits that you're going to need attached to this one tool in order to remove the blade. But I'm gonna pretend like I don't have this because I'm sure a lot of people have already lost it or maybe they just didn't get one at all. So we're just gonna use standard Torx bits. So you're gonna need a T30 Torx bit and you're also gonna need a T40 Torx bit in order to do this. So we're gonna start out with getting this blade off by we need to move this guard up. If you can see this, we need to get to this right here in order to remove this bolt from the arbor and you can see that this shroud here is getting in the way. So the first thing we need to do is just loosen this back screw back here with a T30 Torx bit. And you don't need to go very far, just need to spin it just enough to where it's gonna be able to swing. And then if you see this bolt or screw up here, this is the key. So again, with a T30 Torx bit, we're just gonna unscrew that. And we need to make sure that the screw head comes out far enough to where this will lift up all the way. You don't need to unscrew it all of the way, just high enough to where we can get clearance to where this cover will swing up to where we can get to that middle screw. So we are to that point now. See how it swings up all the way? And now we have full access to this middle bolt to remove it from the arbor. So now that we have access to this middle screw that's in the arbor, on the other side of the saw, there is a button that needs to be depressed and you will spin the saw blade until you feel that button go all the way down. Once that button's gone all the way down, it will lock into place. So now we got the saw blade locked. You need to continue pushing that button down. And now we need to take our T30 Torx bit out and replace it with a T40. And now we need to spin this bolt out of the arbor. Now it's not your standard righty tighty lefty loosey, it's opposite of that. So we actually need to turn it to the right or clockwise in order to loosen it. So once you get it started, you can put that down and then just unscrew it with your fingers. That bolt will come out just like that. You'll also remove this washer and now you can remove the saw blade as well. Now we can take our new blade and put it up into the guard. Put it on top of the arbor there. Now take the washer and set it up into place. Take our bolt and start screwing it into the arbor. Don't feel bad if you find yourself spinning it to the right like you normally would a screw, you'll eventually figure it out that that's not gonna work. So you'll have to spin it counterclockwise or to the left in order to get it to tighten down. When you're putting the blade in, make sure that you're also installing it in the correct direction. If you're looking at it from this angle, on this side of the saw, the blade is gonna spin in a clockwise direction. So you want those teeth also pointing, going in that clockwise direction. Once you've got some pretty decent resistance on it, you're gonna to have to push that button on the right and make sure the blade is locked. And then you can continue turning it to the left or counterclockwise to really tighten that blade down into place on that arbor. Now that we've got that blade into place, we can now switch out our T40 Torx bit back to the T30 Torx bit. And again, if you have the tool, you don't have to worry about all that. You've got everything on that one tool. So now we need to just lift this cover up and again, expose the screw, pull down the cover plate to where it is resting down on that screw there, and then just tighten it down. If you loosen this back screw back here, like I do, just slightly, just make sure that you retighten it back down as well. And now your blade is in place and you're ready to make a test cut. And 
no tear out. All right, so now you're ready to make some really nice cuts. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section. And of course, if you have any questions after all of this, you can leave those down in the comments as well. And if you like videos like this, then consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.